A few weeks ago, AVG released their second update this year. It's now version 9. You're probably getting some messages from AVG telling you you need to update by December the 1st, which is also another first for them because usually they give you at least six months to be able to update to the next version. I'm still finding folks out there that are ver using version 8. Anyway, it's probably a good idea to do the update, and you can do so by going to free.avg.com right here. I also have that same link at helpmerick.com. Then when you get to the web page, they're going to show you the free version on the left and the pay version here on the right. Click Get It Now here on the free version side. And again, it's going to give you some more information about the free AVG versus the pay. And if you want to pay and you have multiple computers, that's fine. Theoretically, AVG free is only for one computer for home users. But it gives you the information about what is protected, what's not. Scroll to the bottom of the list. Click the download button underneath free. Once you arrive at this page, ignore the big button here to go to the CNET download site. I love CNET, don't get me wrong about that, but I'll show you why I don't want you to download from that site. Instead, I want you to click the tab here that says Installation Files. And under Installation Files, you're going to have a couple of options. They have the Download Manager and then they have the full version of AVG right here. Now notice the difference. The full version is 72 megabytes. The download manager is only 870 kilobytes, so it's less than one megabyte. So that's what you get over at CNET. And then you have to download it, then you have to double click on that download to finally get the real download. So skip all that nonsense, come directly to installation files, click right here on the AVG 9 for Windows. When you click it, your browser will ask you, do you want to save the file? And yes, you do. So go ahead and click save. It's a pretty big download, so unless you have a real high speed internet connection, it's going to take up to 10 minutes. So just wait for that download to finish. When the download finishes, and I downloaded mine to the desktop, go find the download and just simply double click on it. The AVG setup program will start up. Click Next. Click You've Read the License. Feel free to read it if you want to. Then click Accept. Depending on the speed of your computer, this next process can take up to four or five minutes. I forgot to mention that if you have the old version of AVG on your computer, this will just simply update you to this new version. There's no need to uninstall the old version first. If you're using any other version of antivirus or computer security software, make sure you uninstall it before you proceed with the installation of AVG. On this next screen, click Custom Installation and click Next. And here it gives you a license number. Just go ahead and click Next. It's going to ask you, do you want to install it in that particular folder? You can change the location if you want. I usually just accept the default. Click Next. The next screen says, are you sure you want to create that new directory? We'll say yes. On the following screen, you can save a little bit of space by saying, I don't want additional languages. And if you're not using Microsoft Outlook, not Outlook Express, but if you're not using Outlook, the full version, you can uncheck that as well. No need to have that in there if you're using web-based email. If you are using Microsoft Outlook, keep that button checked. Then we're going to click Next. And this is the reason I do the custom install, is I do not like extra toolbars in my browser. It slows the browser down. You don't need it. So uncheck both of these boxes so you don't get the AVG toolbar. And then click Next again. And now your installation will proceed. And again, this could take, oh, depending on the speed of your computer, up to four or five minutes. Once the installation finishes, you're going to see that the screen changes to AVG Update, and it'll go ahead and start updating your AVG right from the get-go. One nice new feature in AVG 9 is after the update finishes, it, it gives you the opportunity to choose when you want the scans of the computer to occur. And now with AVG 9, you can either choose daily or weekly, or if you always prefer to do manual scans, you can say never. So if you do daily, I, I like to set it for early morning hours, like 1 or 2 a.m., and then leave the computer on overnight at least once or twice a week. So go ahead and set your time. Click Next. It tells you that you were successful in installing it. It asks you, do you want to... The next thing you have a choice on by doing the custom install is whether or not you want to provide anonymous information to them to help them continue to fight viruses in the future. Depends on your thoughts on sending information from your computer to other people. A lot of people don't like to do that. I'm going to choose not to in this particular case. And then click Finish. 
The last thing you're going to see is now it wants to optimize your scanning. They've, they've promised that they've sped up the scanning. They've promised that they've sped up the scanning of computers through this optimization. I'm going to click wait until the first scan before it does that. So after the installation finishes, you should now have the AVG Free 9.0 icon on your desktop somewhere. I can right click that icon and choose delete or just simply click it and drag it to the recycle bin and say yep because we don't need that anymore we've already installed it. So there you are downloading, installing and configuring AVG Free 9.0. Please feel free to share this with all your friends who need good security.